Coming soon to Exion, another epic installment of the Diary of a Broader File, this time from 2017, when the twins took their first trip and my daughter Rachel flew in from New York to be with us. The weather was ideal, and at this time of the year both the boats and the flora and fauna were coming into their own. Here's an excerpt. In the garden here we see the symbiotic existence of flora and fauna. The grass providing a colourful setting for the flowering plants. Quite apart from the enjoyment of cruising down the river on a sunny day, there's so much hidden beauty on the broads if we'll take time to observe. Flora the plants and fauna the animals. They're actually named after two Roman goddesses, the Latin word flora meaning flower. Before she was a Roman goddess, she was a Greek goddess by the name of Chloris, which in Greek doesn't mean flower, it means green. Hence the green substance in leaves is called chlorophyll. So here we have two Roman goddesses playing on the broads by Jove. The elusive swallowtail eluded us, though I've often filmed it. I managed to salvage a frame, but it was a good shot. Then it flew away. The Red Admiral, however, had a good year in 2017 and danced for us on this marsh orchid. A joy to behold. But these shots are memorable. Here a bee has a feed with the Admiral. Memories all around. The Norfolk Broads is one of the most scenic places in England. And we were blessed with great weather and a great boat. So come and share it with us, travel with us, and see some unforgettable sights in this very special corner of England, the holder of a thousand secrets.